Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. This is going to be something that I have not done yet. This is going to be a twofer in which I'll break down my favorite blitz right now, which is incredibly easy to set up and the best play in Madden right now because the game is just broken and this play beautifully takes advantage of its brokenness. Now, if you're new here, this is the type of stuff that I do all the time. This is a channel that you want to go for, for high quality tips that you don't have to pay for. So, if you haven't seen any of my videos yet, and you think this is something that you're going to enjoy, subscribe to the channel, it would help me out so much, and you will get to see more of this, because yeah, it's just, you just want to see this, it's good content. I, I don't really know which one to start off with, so let's just start with the defense, because defense is so hard this year, it's so difficult, this is going to make you guys feel a lot better about your defense though. To start off the playbook that I'm in, I'm in the Chicago Bears playbook now. This 2 for 5 odd is in a number of playbooks. I don't know it off the top of my head, but just go to huddle.gg, playbook finder, and on defense, enter in the formation nickel 2 for 5 odd, and you'll find all the playbooks that have it. My recommendation for you guys would be the Chicago Bears, though. So when we, so when we, look, at this, the, so when we look at this formation, a couple of key pointers. We want to make sure that we have a very fast guy right here in this 58 spot. Now, let me check, quickly check uh, the speed of Hollands. So, let's just go to depth chart right here. Uh, that was a right outside linebacker. So, let's just check this. It is important that he is fast because he's the one that's kind of coming on the blitz. Now, 86 speed, that's kind of cool. But do we have anything faster than that? Uh, actually, we do. Let's just try if that works. And then let's go back to the field. Uh, is he in there? No, yes, perfect. He's in there. So, I'm just... I'm just I, I discovered this first with the pinch uh, two, but this works out of any play. So I'll just call, what am I gonna call? Just call Tampa two, Tampa two, why the hell not? And I'll just I'll just call actually, that was a very bad play to call. Because this play actually take, takes advantage of this. So I'm gonna have to call the play again because this is a bad example to show this. There are certain things that you can do on offense to get around this. I'll explain that in a second, don't worry about that. But for now, I wanna show you how the splits get in. We're actually now in the play pinch too. I like this play a little bit more. This is kind of my every down defense. So I'm going to run out of this. I decided. So all you're going to do for this, you're going to press the defense, man up the triangle linebacker on the running back. And that's it. I'm going to block the running back. Uh, so you can see this is a player. And we'll just scream in. There you go. Now we want to go into the instant replay to kind of break down why this is working. Because this is actually really glitchy and... This is something that will work pretty consistently. And of course, it's a four-man pressure. People are going to have to adjust to it. They're going to be able to adjust to it. But still really cool. So what we, what we have right here is a little bit of an overload. It, this guy, number 58, he's too fast. He's too fast for the tackle to get out there in time. So he just loops around and the, they just don't get hands on him. Now, we, we have to run back into blocks. So why does he not pick up the... Uh, rusher well be just because he's man up and that kind of glitches him out that that used to work a lot in previous years still works you see he's just nowhere close just there you go he's not he's not gonna make a play on that so one more time and then do the same setup this is it just press and then just let the guy work man let the guy work appreciate it man getting in nice and easy now of course there's some things open so you're gonna have to use it that is uh, but the beauty of this is that you're just going to have to use them for about three seconds. Then the pressure is going to come in and everything is going to be fine. So boom, boom, boom. I'm here. What the fuck? Why is it? Why is it? This is why I hate showing off blitzes, you guys. Because you just saw that work perfectly. But then I did the exact same thing and it just didn't work for some reason. One more time. I'm going to do this. Beautiful. Now we're getting in. Now we're getting in. So you see, everything is covered. Blitz is coming in nice. That's what you want to see. Now, I must say that I haven't done a full test on this blitz, but here's what I think is going on. Uh, why it's sometimes working and sometimes not. First of all, you're going to use the slot cornerback, and this guy needs to have a blitz. He needs to have a blitz assignment. He needs to be blitzed. And for that reason, that's why I like this pinch too so much, because he's on a blitz automatically. I don't have to do that. And then what you have to do is you have to kind of scrape across the formation like that. I don't know why that works better. We can do a test right here and see if uh, what happens if I don't do that. So we're gonna press the defense, block the running back, and this time I'm just gonna stay here. Yeah, it still works. I don't know. This 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 is the issue with this game. It's so random. There's some blitzes that are coming gonna come in 100% of the time, but when we are trying to lab something new, you're never sure whether it's gonna work. 
because practice mode first of all is very different from ultimate team and regular teams and second of all if you do the exact same thing sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and i hate that but that's enough of a rant on defense let's now talk about the best play on offense it's not even close to my opinion it is in the seattle seahawks playbook now if you guys remember anything from last year seattle loves my playbook i'm a seahawks fan and it also it was just the best playbook in the game we're talking about clear out SC out today. And this is one of the plays that I've seen a lot of people run online. It's very good. It, it might be the best play in the game, as I just said. And a lot of pros are switching to the Seattle playbook because of this play. And of course, we have 21 plays in the gun bunch. And all these plays, they're just, they're just really good. The only thing that it's missing is a double post out of a uh, bunch of offset. But besides that, this is the best punch in the game by far. Clear out SC out though. Cover three. Let's run this against cover three first. All you're gonna do is you're gonna. Oh my god! I don't have hot drive master. Now we're loading back into the game. Uh, we have a little bit of time on our hands. I want to make an announcement. I'm gonna do an entire ebook on the two four five odd formation because it's really good, you guys. It's. Let me just say this is one of the easiest blitzes to set up, and there are many more like this in this formation and just in general. Really love the alignment. You never know how many people are coming. So that's coming soon. Don't worry about that over on jtips.net. For now, let's talk about the best play on offense. And this is going to be, of course, the clear SC out. Now I have Hot Rod Master. And now we, we're good to go. Basically, that's that's all I'm saying. We're, we're good to go. Cover three, Sky. I'm gonna call this. Going to move the ball back a little. Going to move the ball back a little. Also, for you guys that are wondering how I'm doing that, I just hold down L2 and click the... Actually, let me just do that. L2 and click the right stick in. Just like that. And then you, just, you can respot the ball. Don't need to pause every time. Okay. All you do, just put Godwin on the corner. Snap this ball. Cool, 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 cool. And you see how we just have a touchdown if we get enough time. And I want to do this again because I feel like I just I just should get a touchdown before saying you telling you how good it is. Boom. Boom. It, it's, it's stupid. I, I don't know why this is going on. I'm still... I got a runny nose, man. I got a runny nose. All right, now let's go into the replay. We're going to, first of all, look at this outside cornerback because we see the corner breaking and he just breaks off of it. He just breaks off the streak entirely. It's just, it's just stupid. It's just wide open. And also, one thing that I want to point out is how beautiful this works with the tight end. Look at the inside third. He he, he shuffles. He pays 100% attention uh, to the... To the tight end, man. And I want to try something. I haven't actually tried this, but let's let's just see if the tight end distracts him enough. Does he distract him enough? No, he doesn't. All right. Well, I guess those are not that big idiots, but still pretty huge. Yeah, but this this is all you need, basically. It's just snap this ball. It's all you need. I mean, I'd also need some time, but who cares? Now, let's run this against cover two, because the best play in the game should also work against cover two. And, well... It does. I don't actually have a cover two in the audibles. That's interesting. Boom. Just like that. Gonna blitz this guy. Gonna put Vertok. Boom. Hook curl. Can we put him in a Vertok? No, we can't. But this, I guess it's fine. Oops. My bad. There you go. Got a tempo two for you. So, gonna do the same setup. Just like that. And now we look to hit this guy on the outside. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just so simple, you guys. I, I don't know what to tell you. Once again, oh, cover three. Well, bye-bye. Just say bye-bye. <laughs> Fucking zones in this game, man. Fucking zones in this game. Anyways, I think I'm done here. I, I think I showed this off enough. Uh, if you want to get some ideas of the rock combinations, because rock combinations are pretty trans transcendental. Uh, transcendental. Uh, they pretty much go from game to game. Check out my previous ebooks on the YouTube channel and for Man 21 on the Gun Bunch formation. A lot of it. A lot of it on the CLC playbook. But, yeah, this. How? Why can't these devs seem to fix the game? This is horrible. How are zones this bad? I'm, I gotta start running some match. I gotta get down to learn the rules because that's the only coverage defense that you can run. It is a pain in the ass. It is annoying. Man, I hate that. Till next time, goodbye, guys. Okay. Let's do a nice collected outro. This blitz, so simple to set up, so good. It's not 100% consistent. As we saw, this game is terrible. 
But a four man blitz that'll come in semi consistently, especially if you kind of hover the gap and then shoot across with your user who's on the blitz on this like cornerback. Very, very cool. Now, this offensive play, yeah, I saw it. It's just not that guard guarded. Maybe man coverage, but then again, you have the tight end if he's got a good, if he's a good route runner. And the corner out, if you have somebody with uh, outside, nah, whatever, sh sh mid out delete, I think is where that break is. It's just really good play. So you guys should definitely try it out. Lab it up a bit. Maybe make an offense out of this Seattle Gun Bunch. I'm going to be honest, it's not the most difficult thing to find a place to work out a bunch. Because everything works out a bunch. Till next time, goodbye guys. I love you all so much. Peace out. See you in the next video.